We can start with Jack Maynard. Obviously, he's he has been removed. Um, this follows a string of messages that he put out between 2011 and 2013. They were offensive messages. Um, I think I'm just going to see this as a lesson to everyone who does social media out there. You know, a lesson with Alison. Anything you put out there, it stays there. It could come back and bite you. But we knew about these messages before he went in. This is what I don't understand. I don't understand why this is... Obviously, he's apologised about these messages before. Yeah. Um, we knew about them before he went. I, this is what I don't understand. I think what I think... it is, Holly, is there's more allegations maybe that are going to come out a little bit later. Right, OK. And I think he just needed to defend himself. He needed to be out and know what these allegations are. And I think it was unfair. A show where you can't even have any contact with the outside world, I think it's really important that he has a right to reply. ITV say that the decision is not taken lightly by the producers. There could be more revelations to come. And that anyone should be aware their social media never really goes away and to be careful for that reason. That's so true. Uh, Jack's um, people have said in the last few days Jack Maynard has been the subject of a succession of media stories which, given his position as a contestant in I'm a Celebrity, filmed in the Australian jungle with no contact with the outside world, he's been unable to respond to, since it's only fair that everyone should be aware of any allegation made against them and should have the right to defend themselves. It was agreed that it would be better to bring him out of the show. Mm. Jack agrees with this decision, which was made by his representatives and ITV, and thanks everyone who's supported him in the show so far. Thank okay. you. Yeah, that's well, the statement. Well, so that's what's What's happened? And I've got a little confession to tell you here. Yes, because when you were in lockdown, I mean, they take everything they from take you. They take everything from you. You have to hand over your mobile phone. Because I've done reality TV show shows before, I know this, so I took two phones. I gave them a dud phone and I kept my phone on me. So when I was in the hotel, when the chaperone said, good night, Alison, I went, good night. I was on the phone to my mum going, what's happening? Who's in the jungle? You're right, mum. And then I could speak to my son because my son was at home. Every night I spoke to him for 10 days before I went into the And then jungle. when you went in, what did you do with it? So I packed it. I just knew that I, there's no way I'm going to take my phone into the jungle because I thought, oh, they're going to check my bag. I put it into my suitcase, turned it off and put it into my suitcase. Do you know, they never checked my bag when I went into the jungle. So you could have taken So I could have taken a mobile phone. Busted so I would have been busted. You can't even take salt in there without them well, finding I out. Been busted. Got so, many, the microphone. so many cameras on you. I would have. Well, I would have, I would have gone to the dunny, took my microphone off, and I would have. Can you stop it. being so stop being <laughs> No, but it's good though, isn't it? It's good. What to, to, to lie? No. Oh, it was so nice to have my phone though. And be able to talk to my family. But that's not the aim of the game, though, no, is it? No, but I really? wasn't in the jungle at that point. No, but if you had been, you said if you could have got away with it, you'd have Such taken it. Such a teacher swat, aren't you? <laughs> Such a teacher swat. Now let's talk about tonight's trial. Like I'm one. so excited, Rebecca and Toff are doing oh. an eating trial. Uh, it's called Worst Dates. Now, this is split up into sections. The first section is like a blindfolded section, and but the next section is like a speed dating section. They have to eat the food Quick. really, really quickly. And I've got a clip. Do you want to see yeah. it? Oh, I don't know if I do. <laughs> Have a look at this. It's time for the main course, and you've both got Critter on Croot. This is speed dating, so you've got 45 seconds to clear it all. Right, OK, come on, let's okay. get right, ready? Don't waste any seconds. Here we go, let's start the clock then. Three, two, one. Stop the clock. Yes! Is that the spider gone already? It is. Doing brilliantly. Whack it all in there. Ten seconds gone. Come on! Come on, girls, you got this. Spider. Oh. No. Oh. I think it's quite cruel, if I'm honest with you. 45 seconds to eat all that. It was just too short a time. I think at least a minute and a half to eat it. You, well, I mean, I don't think it's the time <sighs> it's thing awful. that was my problem with that. It was just what, it was the actual what they were eating. If you're going to eat a spider, <laughs> you need you need you more need a time. Bit of time to prepare. Listen, I've done an eating try and it's not good. Do you remember, do you remember when I did Starbucks? The like, do you want to have a timer look? on it? <laughs> That's what do, it you want, really do you remember is. when I did Starbucks? Do you want to have a look? Yeah. Yes. Have, look, have a look at this. This was my worst nightmare. Yeah, was yeah. Yeah. This is my worst nightmare. I only have two I really didn't want to do, and this is one of them. Have to worry There's about nothing the garnish. chewy in it. Not easy. It's really not easy. This is maggots, mealworms, and water. Oh, Come for the nose hole. Oh, it's gone. <sighs> done. Oh, I wish I'd done it like that. Well done. Oops. All right, Hello. All right, all right, all not right. quite done. All right, okay. Nice. Nice. Done. You've got to show me out the mouth before you have a drink. Uh, yeah, yep, yep. yeah. Oh, my God, it nearly oh, came back. <laughs> oh, 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 that was so hard to keep down. Honestly, after that, I felt violated oh, <laughs> for about three hours after doing the trial. I was yeah, so, so devastated. Did the maggots. <laughs>
Um, it was awful. And, and uh, hygiene is always a big thing as well. They yeah, were sniffing their armpits so last night. so funny last night. They were sniffing their armpits. I, I never use the shower, to Can be honest with you. Can you not deodorant in? Well, they give you a deodorant. When I say deodorant, it's like a organic deodorant. It doesn't smell great. It's got no perfume in it. You get soap, deodorant. What else do you get? Lip balm, a mirror, moisturiser, and you get your luxury item. And a toothbrush. What was your luxury item? So a foam. I, I took no Vaseline. I just wanted Vaseline for my lips. But you get a lip balm. No, I didn't like their lip balm. I like Vaseline. Oh. And also, like I've got big boobs. Other lip balms are if available. If they were chafing, I could put a bit of Vaseline <laughs> underneath my boobs because I've got it. big boobs. No, seriously, because you can. No, get, no, no, like, no, no. Stop saying the name with the B. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my! Sorry, I'm not sponsored. There's other like lovely stuff you could use. 